Welcome to this video. Yeah, this is Blitz game and um, you notice something is different. Yes, I've added the coordinates. Um, yes, I always felt a bit uh, reluctant to do that because it eats up um, some screen state. And um, yeah, well, and I, I never found a layout that I liked, but this I actually do like. So I welcome feedback. Um, on that if you uh, like it or whatever it's um, something that I want to try out okay um, while I was talking I have um, entered this line of the of the Tarash which I actually don't know <laughs> don't know well I normally play d takes c5 instead of bishop g5 but while talking I completely forgot that I think taking in b3 is how it goes but I have basically forgotten forgotten the the theory here not sure I think queen a5 something like that is uh, right but yeah something like that why um, black normally tries to to use the to use the somewhat unstable position of the knight. I wonder if I should just drop back to d2. It's probably not the critical move. But okay, it um, creates a, an immediate threat. Oh, I need to close the door. Yeah, the dishwasher was so loud that it <laughs> probably made it to the sound of the video. Okay, let's see. Not quite sure if Black, what is Black doing here? Maybe, yeah, well, Bishop b4 is a possibility. But um, after move like Queen c2, I um, um, have a3 on the, on the horizon. And this is not sure that this is so great. Maybe he should move the queen again to b6 or something. Okay, he went for that. It's certainly the most um, the most principal move in a way. Okay, I need to cover c3. Queen c2 is the most obvious way to do it. Hmm. I'm not sure though. I mean, what I want to do is I want to play a threaten a3. And if I go queen c2, Maybe on a3 he can take on b3 then. Hmm. Maybe. Okay, well, queen c1 was an alternative, but okay. He's uh, reacting to that by taking. So I can take now with the pawn. Well, this looks, looks quite comfortable for me, I think. I can play knight a4. Is this um, tactically a good move or not? Yeah, we'll take on d4, of course. But I have knight a4 anyway, even if I even if I play um, a move like e3, I can play knight a4, just the next move. Knight a4, queen d4, bishop b4, queen b4, queen c6 is not bad, but I'm also not so convincing. I get knight a4, and this looks like a, a good position. I think he must react in a way to that. He cannot allow allow me to trade the dark squared bishops, for example. I think he should probably retreat it. Wow, by this I didn't even consider giving giving me the bishop pair on top of all the problems that he already has. Okay, bishop a5 and then b4 or b4 immediately. Or rook a5. This is also also a pretty good move. Maybe rook a5. <clears throat> Many good good possibilities. Tending rook f a1. While keeping keeping the tension here. Or b4 was also possible. It was the simplest maybe. Just blocking both a5 and c5. 
Here he can maybe play c5. Theoretically speaking, at least he can do that. I, think that, that, I don't think it, it blunders material or something like that. But um, I can take twice, play queen b2, for example, and just have a very nice position with two bishops. Well, c5 is probably, probably just bad, actually. Okay. <laughs> It's very typical. I just say, okay, this is just bad, and and, and it's played. Uh, okay, so queen b2, uh, or is there a better move? No, no, queen b2, of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, just a mouse slip, of course. After queen b2, White black is resigned. black is black is almost busted here. That is. Strategically losing position almost. Let's let's check what is the comp doing. Plus two, <laughs> yeah, that's no surprise. Uh, two two bishops open board. A seven is weak. G seven is weak. He, he does not even have a move here really. Bishop f six. What's Black's move here? Can can retreat if you like. Rook a one. Bishop to d four. I will probably win the a pawn. This is just a complete disaster. Um, C yeah, well, C5 is just out of this world terrible. I mean, how can you play that? <laughs> Maybe if you expect the other guy to make a mouse slip, then you can. Yeah, what um, a black should do is probably something like this. And then the question is how to continue a B4 as a move. Just blocking this. I mean, this is a long-term long -term edge anyway. It's just a matter of um, what continuation to choose. I could also, I can even take on e4. That's it's something to consider because simply for concrete reasons here. Let's say here, rook c1. I get here and I have this d5 possibility with a good structure. I mean, it's it's not, it's I wouldn't have played it, but it's a, it's a possibility. And um, yeah, the whole sequence of moves here is, uh, is, is just not good for black. I actually even doubt bishop b4. Bishop b4 already looks wrong to me. It just runs into this um, a3 idea, and, and this is just bad. I mean, here there's knight e4. Now you absolutely must retreat the bishop in my book, or move the queen. You cannot um, cannot um, do what this is unplayable almost. And uh, c5 is, is probably losing. Yeah unless you play queen a2. Yeah, this is a type of game where I sometimes don't upload uh, if stuff like that happens on, on both sides, actually. But okay, it was uh, probably interesting anyway from a strategical point of view. I think here, black already should uh, play something else. Maybe queen a6 yeah, could be an idea. Something like that. The problem is what he's doing here is he, in a way, um, helps me to exchange those bishops and what you absolutely don't want to exchange dark squared bishops in this position as the pawns here are in light squares probably those two will trade at some point and then I have a very nice post on c5 and you want a dark squared bishop to uh, to fill those dark squared holes so bishop before is not a good move and well this is just a series of mistakes so. <laughs> but okay one one very bad mouse slip can uh, turn it um, upside down. Okay, thanks for watching.